All right, good morning, everybody. Rub the sleepies from your eyes and get ready. In lesson 77, today we're talking about converting units of weight and mass. And most everybody understands weight. In the metric system, they measure mass with either milligrams, grams, kilograms. Over here on the U.S. side, we're used to ounces, pounds, and tons, right? And the big thing to remember, the difference on Earth, a kilogram is about two and two-tenths of a pound. And a metric ton is about 2,200 pounds. So if you're familiar with what about one pound weighs, a kilogram is about two and two-tenths of those. The other big thing to remember is all this information is at the top of your page on 499. You're definitely going to want to take a look at this chart. It is your friend to be successful on the Socrative quiz. So let's jump right into it here where it says, a large elephant weighs about four tons. About how many pounds does a large elephant weigh? They're giving you information in tons, and they want the answer in pounds. So my first question then, I better figure out how many pounds are in a ton. So I can look at my handy-dandy chart here, and I see there's 2,000 Pounds. This LB is actually how to abbreviate the word pounds. It's based off of an old Latin word. Equals one ton. So I have four tons, which means I have four groups of 2,000 pounds each, right? Four groups of 2,000. Well, what's four times two? Well, it would be eight. How many zeros do you have in that problem? Looks to me like there's three zeros in the problem, so you better have three zeros in your answer. So it looks to me like it would be about 8,000 pounds, the goofiest abbreviation, LBS, is how to abbreviate pounds. Let's try this one. A watermelon has a mass of 6 kilograms. The mass of the watermelon was how many grams? They want the answer in grams, and they're giving you information in kilograms. Well, if I look over here on the metric side, I can see there's about 1,000 grams in a kilogram. So instead of thinking of 6 kilograms, 6 groups of 1,000, 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000 plus 1,000, otherwise known as 1,000 times 6, hopefully you know that would be 6,000 grams. If you have three zeros in the problem, you need three zeros in the answer, and you can abbreviate grams with just a G. Check out this one, a little bit of a two-part problem. Here it says, Subway uses two ounces of cheese for each sandwich. If someone orders 16 sandwiches, how many pounds of cheese would they use? Well, the first thing I'm going to have to do is figure out how many ounces. Two ounces on each sandwich, and they're making 16 of those sandwiches, right? 2 times 16, that's going to give me 32 ounces. But here's the problem. They don't want the answer in ounces. They want the answer in pounds. So now i got to figure out that there's 16 ounces in one pound. How many 16s are there in 32? And can you do the math in your head, or are you going to have to divide it out? Technically, you could. Set it up and go 32 divided by 16. How many times? 16 times what is going to get me close to 32? And hopefully you know that answer is 2. 
two pounds, two L B S. Moving on to the next one, 10 pounds of potatoes weighs how many ounces? Kind of like the other one, we know that there's 16 ounces in a pound. They want the answer in ounces, so I got to convert pounds into ounces. 10 groups of 16. 16 times 10. Well, 1 times 16 is 16. So 16 times 10, you got one zero in that problem. You need one in the answer, and that's going to give you 160 ounces. Check out this one. If a pair of boots weighs about 4,000 grams, how many kilograms does one boot weigh? They want the answer in kilograms. Well, there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. So how many thousands are there in 4,000? Well, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Looks to me like that would be four kilograms for a pair of boots, right? But check out this one. How many kilograms does one boot weigh? Well, if a pair of boots weighs four kilograms, hopefully everybody understands that there's two in a pair, right? Two in a pair, and the two together weigh four kilograms. How many kilograms would one boot weigh? Well, what's half a four? That would be two, right? If a pair of boots is four kilograms, one boot is going to weigh two kilograms. And that is the end. I can't stress enough. You definitely want to look at the top of page 499 for your Socrative quiz today. And good luck.